are we witnessing volcanic history for the first time in the world guys this sounds scary and i have to say it is becoming scary and i'm really starting to be worried who would have thought that it's santorini that it's greece we've been looking at the super volcano near naples campi flegri and we are worried that this thing might do something but santorini what is unfolding before our eyes guys i wanted to call it a day i just released a detailed update for you, but I need to add something. So Professor Konstantinos Sunolakis has spoken this evening on the news and he said, and this is, I don't know, this is, I don't want to say fascinating or amazing because this is so dangerous. He said, with the development of that phenomenon in Santorini, perhaps for the first time in the world, we will see the genesis of a new volcano. He said, quote, I believe that there is a flow of liquids, fluids that slowly rise at great depth to the surface and go towards anhydros. And if this is true, and if we see it, then we will see for the first time in the world, we will see the genesis of this new volcano, the generation of this new volcano. And it will take us a long time. We will need a lot of seismic studies to understand that phenomenon, to see where that volcano might be and if it exists, if it's liquid, where is magma and at what depth it is. What? I mean, guys, let's slow down. Magma is rising or seems to be screaming. I am coming. We thought the Colombo volcano, that's about four miles off the coast of Santorini. But I just reported they found a land rise right in the middle of the caldera, basically underneath that little island that is there. You see the black lava flows from the 1956 eruption. Land is rising there, but they see land rise maybe as far as Mykonos and Colombo. And then we see all these earthquakes. And they were shifting from being on top of Colombo a little bit further northeast of Colombo. So what is happening? Is this one huge land rise? I mean, that would be... <laughs> or are the magma chambers of Santorini and Colombo connected? But guys, I need you to look at this. And this is also the reason why I made this video now. Look at the live earthquakes that we are seeing right now from the University of Athens. Because what I would like to show to you is the pink colored earthquakes. This is these are the earthquakes that are happening right now, basically. They're six hours ago. Red is 12 hours ago. But are they shifting again? Tell me, guys, am I wrong? Or do we see a shift here, not only to the east, but only to the southeast or more southern towards Santorini? Could this be the case? And we just had another 4.8. So the earthquakes keep coming and they are still intense with so many all of a sudden again over magnitude 4. And you see the list here. I'm scrolling around a little bit and I'm clicking on the dots and I show you the locations of the earthquakes where they are. And this is what I think is concerning. You also see the earthquake that's right there where the land rise is, above the caldera, above this area in Santorini that I just mentioned. But look at this 3.9, 4.0, 4.8, 4.3, 3.1, 3.8. .3 and then a little bit further down, this is what's marked in yellow here, 4.1, 4.1, 3.7, 3.9, 3.1, 3.7, 4.1, 4.3, 4.4, 4.5, 4.6, 4.7, 4.8, 4.9, 4.10, 4.11, 4.12, 4.13, 4.14, 4.15, 4.16, 4.17, 4.18, 4.19, 4.20, 4.21, 4.22, 4.23, 4.24, 4.25, 4.26, 4.27, 4.28, 4.29, 4.30, 4.31, 4.32, 4.33, 4.34, 4.35, 4.36, 4.37, 4.38, 4.39, 4.40, 4.41, 4.42, 4.43, 4.44, 4.45, 4.46, 4.47, 4.48, 4.49, 4.50, 4.51, 4.52, 4.53, 4.54, 4.55, 4.56, 4.57, 4.58, 4.59, 4.60, 4.61, 4.62, 4.63, 4.64, 4.65, 4.66, 4.67, 4.68, 4.69, 4.70, 4.71, 4.72, 4.73, 4.74, 4.75, 4.76, 4.77, 4.78, 4.79, 4.80, 4.81, 4.82, 4.83, 4.84, 4.85, 4.86, 4.87, 4.88, 4.89, 4.90, 4.91, 4.92, 4.93, 4.94, 4.95, 4.96, 4.97, 4.98, 4.99, 4.10, 4.11, 4.12, 4.13, 4.14, 4.15, 4.16, 4.17, 4.18, 4.19, 4.20, 4.21, 4.22, 4.23, 4.24, 4.25, 4.26, 4.27, 4.28, 4.29, 4.30, 4.31, 4.32, 4.33, 4.34, 4.35, 4.36, 4.37, 4.38, 4.39, 4.40, 4.41, 4.42, 4.43, 4.44, 4.45, 4.46, 4.47, 4.48, 4.49, 4.50, 4.51, 4.52, 4.53, 4.54, 4.55, 4.56, 4.57, 4.58, 4.59, 4.60, 4.61, 4.62, 4.63, 4.64, 4.65, 4.66, 4.67, 4.68, 4.69, 4.70, 4.71, 4.72, 4.73, 4.74, 4.75, 4.76, 4.77, 4.78, 4.79, 4.80, 4.81, 4.82, 4.83, 4.84, 4.85, 4.86, 4.87, 4.88, 4.89, 4.90, 4.91, 4.92, 4.93, 4.94, 4.95, 4.96, 4.97, 4.98, 4.99, 4.10, 4.11, 4.12, 4.13, 4.14, 4.15, 4.16, 4.17, 4.18, 4.19, 4.20, 4.21, 4.22, 4.23, 4.24, 4.25, 4.26, 4.27, 4.28, 4.29, 4.30, 4.31, 4.32, 4.33, 4.34, 4.35, 4.36, 4.37, 4.38, 4.39, 4.40, 4.41, 4.42, 4.43, 4.44, 4.45, 4.46, 4.47, 4.48, 4.49, 4.50, 4.51, 4.52, 4.53, 4.54, 
and how they built the building so they might all collapse all these hotels check out the video in the end screen i have just released this guys you will not regret it this video is from start to finish it's a longer one but it's full with upsetting new information to say the least and comments from residents and geologists so watch that video after this one if you haven't watched it yet but right now if you look at all these earthquakes we have the earthquakes and now we have volcanic unrest under santorini at the colombo area as well and one of my viewers made a post and said the magma is screaming i am coming and i have the feeling that it is so i don't think that the authorities can insist on their theory any longer that this is purely tectonic so it is clearly not and if we look at the depth of the earthquakes they're very shallow two kilometers shallow shallow and i said i quoted a resident um who said we're fleeing the island we are sure that we can survive a big earthquake because that could still come like a seven point something but with the help of the authorities they have brought generators and military and and aid we can survive that but we cannot survive a volcanic eruption and these residents they know their island and they know how this is rumbling right now continuously without a break and making these sounds these noises this dust coming out from the hills so what would happen if santorini erupts if there's an eruption in santorini we've had that in 1956 that was a smaller one that was triggered by the big earthquake but could we see something bigger could we see something at colombo that definitely will cause tsunamis so we cannot predict how big an eruption is coming but we already know this earthquake swarm is a phenomenon that they're saying a geological phenomenon that they have never seen before so land is rising at santorini now as well and now we have to see will we see something coming out there some smoke i hope they have some gas measuring instruments in place so see if there's some volcanic gases sulfur released there because we already have and if you watch my channel what's going on in iceland land rise earthquakes the rumbling this thick earthquake swarm and if there is an increase in, in fumarolic activity hot steam coming out guys that is an indication that this volcano is is rumbling and as we speak another 3.9 earthquake is just happening right now and uh when will it erupt the scientists say well it could be in preparation right now but it could erupt later it doesn't have to erupt right now there's dangers from all sides and they say they, they don't know what this phenomenon is so not only could we see the birth of a new volcano which is scary somewhere else between colombo and santorini we could see an eruption in Santorini. Santorini can produce devastating eruptions and so can Colombo with tsunamis. So they are preparing for tsunamis with big sandbags and stuff like this. Uh, but other countries are starting to worry as well. And some scientists are saying, well, this can go as far as the Nile Delta. Turkey has to worry. Greece maybe northern africa malta gozo cyprus eastern mediterranean um but can we really tell no but probably a tsunami and ash clouds if there is an eruption is the most dangerous but if there is a big earthquake tsunami is also still in play Greek authorities have declared the state of emergency until March 3rd and also the prime minister of Greece is right now on santorini to assess the situation and to give like psychological support to the situation many people thousands of people roughly like ten thousand people have left the island but there's still several thousand people still on the island so this is what concerns me a little bit and i hope that down the road if this unrest keeps intensifying especially if it's getting clear it is volcanic as well 
get the re get everyone off the island. That's what I would do if I was in charge. And remember, Campi Flegre, Roberto Scandone, he said last year in March, before this huge Brady Sizem even started, he said, if I had the funds and if I had the authority, I would evacuate everyone right now. And I think here the situation is way more dire and the volcano is giving us a warning or whatever it is, the, the fault lines plus the volcano, Mother Nature is giving them a warning. They have enough time to get everyone to safety. So I really hope they're using that, guys. Watch the video in the end screen. Thank you for watching. If you want to support the channel, links are in the description of this video. Bye-bye.